95.3 The Bear, Bama's best country. It's Monk, and in studio with me right now, a lot of you may know him. If you've been around Tuscaloosa for any length of time, you probably know the name of Stephen Padilla. Stephen, in studio, what's happening, Stephen? Oh, man, just just traveling, burning up some gas money. <laughs> burning up some gas money. So yeah. what's been happening? You were uh, recently at CMA Fest. How was that? That was your first CMA Fest, right? Yeah, uh, it was It was my first CMA Fest, like first time to be part of the festival as an artist and a writer and um yeah it was busy it was it was awesome though it was a lot of a lot of fun uh, met lots of new people and got to you know see the behind the scenes of uh of the festival and how it all works and yeah it's, honestly it's just crazy it's people, chaotic people are everywhere but <laughs> but it's it's country music you know and it's um all of the diehard fans all over the country all over the world um, yeah you know i met lots of people from Australia, uh, England, I mean, South Africa, like just all over the place. Um, so did you get to meet any artists that you, that you want to tell us about anybody you think's up and coming and cool besides yourself? Um, I, I didn't, I didn't really get to, to meet any other artists. I, I spent most of the time meeting, meeting fans, making new fans. Yeah. Um, I think, um, I think I shook about 2,000 hands because I gave out 2,000 free koozies. Yeah. So, so uh, and I signed each one of them. Uh, so I came back with a little tennis elbow. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. So um, tell us about, you got a new record coming out because we've been playing your new single, yeah. When I'm Drunk. Tell yeah. us about the new record. Is that uh, in the works? Is it in it's the can? In, is it done? Or? It's in the works. I, I, I keep writing new material. I, I, I spend a lot of time in Nashville writing with, with all of these writers that, write all the songs for these big time artists that are on the radio. And, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it, I just keep getting good songs and uh, I'm having a, I'm having a difficult time figuring out what I want to do as far as what I want to say with this new record. I have a, I have a bunch of it finished, but I have a lot of new stuff that um, I'm wanting to get in the studio and, and, and put it down. I wrote a, I wrote a, I, th- I don't know. I think it, it it's, it's probably my f- my favorite song that I've that I've ever written. It's called My Old Man, and it's about uh it's about my dad. Um, it's about the the dad that I want to be. Um, I have I have two little girls, and um, life's kind of it's changed a lot in the past two years. Mm-hmm. Um, I've um, you know I found Christ, I accepted Him as my Savior. Uh, I got married. Um, I had baby number one and baby number two um and and just uh you know released an album last year and you know it's it's been amazing it's been a lot of fun it's been a lot of work um but i'm super pumped up about about my sophomore album and getting some new music out there but uh yeah when uh when i'm drunk the the new single i thought it turned out great it's a it's pretty consistent with my sound on the last album, but uh, we we had we added some B three uh, organ to it. Because uh, you went up to um, I, I, I st- to Fame Studios, still didn't recording you? in Fame Studios. Very um, cool. I got uh, Larry Byram came in and did some uh, some B three for us, and uh, it I don't know it kind of brought it kind of brought it, brought it to life. Um, I didn't know how it was gonna sound, and he just came in and did his thing, and um, you know he's played on on a lot of that stuff, you know, he's been recording there for probably 40, 30, 40 years. Mm-hmm. So okay. all that whole movement that came through muscle shows, he was a big, he was a big part of it. So it was cool to be able to work with him. Yeah. Well, very cool. I've never actually been up there, but, um, now you want to play us a song real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, you know, I haven't just take uh, your pick anyone you want. Well, to. nobody's really heard, uh, heard this before. Um, I actually shot a, uh, a music video, um, just a kind of acoustic sit down, kind of like what we're doing here, but with a couple other guys from Nashville. Sure. Um, and it's the song I was just telling you about. It's called My Old Man. Okay. Well, go ahead. Steven Padilla in studio right now with My Old Man. come a long way to get where I'm at thought I gave up the game 
but I'm still up to bat. Sometimes life throws you a curve. It's over that's that. You just say good game and tip your hat. Yeah, my old man taught me that. He was the first one to work and the last one home. And every Sunday at church, he was singing right along. He'd throw his hands up high with tears in his eyes. Everything that he'd done wrong was lifted away with a song. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a cold beer on a Saturday night. Don't go looking for trouble, but if it's trouble, you find. Look it dead in the eye. Stand up for what's right. Don't throw the first punch, but kick his ass. Yeah, my old man told me that. He was the first one to work and the last one home. And every Sunday at church, he was singing right along. He'd throw his hands up high with tears in his eyes. Everything that he'd done wrong slipped it away with a song. Yeah. From time to time. Pull that Bible off the shelf. There's worse folks to be like. That's what I tell myself when I ain't living right. Lost and need a little help. I let the good book bring me back. Yeah, my old man told me that. Now I'm the first one to work and the last one home. And every Sunday at church. I'm singing right along. I throw my hands up high with tears in my eyes. Everything that I've done wrong is lifted away with a song. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety-five three, the Bear, Stephen Padilla in studio. Good job, dude. That's a great song. Thank you, man. You know, I spent the first like two minutes of that song wondering where I've heard that song before. And then I realized that's the song you warmed up with when you first got here. So that's yeah. where I'd heard it before. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man, that was a cool song. So, um, when can we expect a new record? Do you have any clue at all? You know, I'd like to get it. Um, you know, sometime sometime this fall. You know, maybe okay. during during football season. But like I said, uh, I'm going to kind of play it by ear and and see where these new songs take me okay. go in the studio see what happens maybe some magic will happen and we'll um we'll get this thing done and and uh have a date out soon so. okay all right so where can they find you online um you know you can uh, always get my music on spotify and, and itunes uh but um you know check out facebook uh, um website is com, and um you know thank just thank y'all so much for for having me I mean, thank you for stopping by. This is, it's just awesome to be able to, to, to do what I'm doing right now. And, um, everybody out there that's been buying my music and, and, um, and following me, I I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. All right, man. Best of luck to you. Steven Padilla on 95.3 The Bear.